Megan for the Developer Show, and it's our 300th episode. We're so excited to reach this milestone. And in honor of our 300th episode, we wanted to showcase some amazing dev show milestones that have happened on the road to 300. First, let's take it all the way back to March 2016, when we rescaled Dev Show and had its first standalone episode. Timothy had such a baby face, right? Such a great moment to bring a new look to Dev Show as we've done over the years. Up next, we're heading to June 2016, when we did our first on-ground reporting at IO. Of course, IO successfully was an in-person event this year, and we're hoping to be back on the ground reporting from the event in 2023. Moving on, we land in February 2018 when we hit our 100th episode. It was also the first episode we recorded with other hosts. Previously, Timothy was holding down the fort for all of us. Now we have a 10 member dev show host family. Whatever more highly rated episode comes in December 2018 when Flutter 1.0 launched. It was such a big story and accomplishment for Google and the episode alone racked up more than 20,000 views since. Of course, we can't forget when life changed for everyone during the pandemic. In March 2020, we had our first work from home episode as everyone transitioned to remote work. We're slowly making it back to in-person events and excited to see all of you. And of course, we can't forget the fabulous costumes worn. I may have to bring that snowman back this year. These are only some of the many great memories from Dev Show and we couldn't have made them possible without the support from the developer community. Speaking of the developer community, we still have your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Like coding practice with Kickstart. Kickstart's second multi-day practice session of the year starts on Monday, June 27th to Friday, July 1st. Coding practice with Kickstart is a beginner-friendly four-day practice session that gives you the chance to try out competitive programming without the pressure of a timed round or scoreboard. Only you can see your results and Google engineers are available throughout the session to answer your questions. At the end of the week, tune in for a problem walkthrough live stream where Google engineers will provide detailed solutions to the problems you tackled. Coding practice with Kickstart is a great way to kickstart your competitive programming journey. Learn more at g.co backslash kickstart and follow at gcodingcomps on Twitter for more info and the latest updates about Google's coding competitions. Over in cloud, don't miss the first ever Google Cloud Sustainability Summit on Tuesday, June 28th, 2022. Learn how business and tech leaders are building for the future. Get insights to help you enact sustainable change within your organization. You'll also have a chance to explore the latest tools and best practices that can help you solve your most complex challenges. And of course, you'll be the first to learn about product updates across Google Cloud, Earth Engine, and Google Workspace. Register today by visiting cloudonair.withgoogle.com. Moving on to Android, Developer Preview 3 is here. The new update includes APIs and developer resources for conversion measurement and remarketing use case. You can also, for the first time, begin testing and evaluating impact on all key APIs for Privacy Sandbox on Android. This release includes a developer guide and sample apps to help you understand client and server-side setup, plus interaction for key parts of the attribution reporting workflow. To learn more about Developer Preview 3, visit the link in the description box below. The list of third-party apps to try is here, in the 2022 Recommended for Google Workspace Apps list. 12 apps made the list to help you get more done with Google Workspace. Each year, Google Workspace evaluates the apps on the marketplace and recommends ones that are enhancing the workspace experience. Some apps on this year's list include AO Docs, Dialpad, DocuSign, Ring Central, Yam, SheetGo, and half a dozen more. Check out the full list by visiting the link in the post. And lastly, we wanted to take a minute to share a message from the person who has made the Dev Show possible 300 episodes later, the original host and creator of the Dev Show, Timothy Jordan. Thanks, Megan. And hello, everyone. I'm Timothy, and I want to thank you for watching The Developer Show. When we started this show 300 episodes ago, we had one simple goal, to bring you the coolest developer news from all across Google. 
To do that, we needed you to come back week over week, tell your friends, and give us feedback about what was most useful for you. And you've done that. We'd just like to ask you to keep it up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. To learn more about all this week's stories and milestones, make sure to check out the link in the description box below. I've had a blast hosting Dev Show with my many dresses, and I look forward to the next 100 episodes. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Megan for The Dev Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.